Who's a YouTuber you strongly dislike? I recently got into BTS. Wait, who's your bias, by the way? Let's talk a bit about dating. I need to know, what is your type to the T? No talking to yeah. anyone. Now with this mask on, it's even easier. Oh my god, sit. Someone is saying it, finally! You can only see this much! <laughs> what is up guys and welcome back to my channel. You guys have gathered here today for episode 5 of You Probably Didn't Notice About Me. I'm absolutely shocked. I can't believe this is the last episode of the year. This is also the last episode of the series, which means that it will be returning back very soon in a couple of months time. I'm just honestly so pleased to have this person be the last person on the first series because I'm just a big fan of her. We've already collaborated in the past. There's nothing but good vibes when it comes to this particular person. So ladies and gentlemen, the highly anticipated, the most requested, crazy, 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 Amanda, crazy. This is the last episode of the series. I'm so shocked that this series has been able to do what it did. I'm happy that people at home are getting to know more about me as well and getting to see me being a journalist for 14 minutes. I've loved interviewing everybody, and I mean everybody that I've interviewed in this series. I personally got to know more about them. I got to know why they started. I got to know why they think the way that they do. I got to know more about scandals they may have or may not have been involved in. I've also got to know more about their relationship with brands. In the second series are people who are changing the game, people who actually matter, and I just want to give them attention as well as, listen, the controversial people, they're coming. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This definitely calls for some alcohol obviously if you are of age go and sip yourself a pint i literally just purchased it just now this is the italian rose yeah it's a bit of me it's the packaging for me though i don't know if she tastes nice but just know that whilst this video goes on public i'm gonna be sipping on this with you guys so make sure if you are of age go and pop a bottle <laughs> don't wait till new year's do it if you're not of age, go and get a Capri Sun. Super gas, super fortunate, super blessed, and I'm just gonna end this year off with good vibes. If you guys want to know more about Amanda, please keep on watching. What is up, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm joined with a very special guest, Amanda. Introduce yourself. Tell us what you do on YouTube. All right, so Amanda, uh, I consider myself, I guess, a beauty entertainment channel. I mm -hmm. talk about like, makeup and like popular culture i guess mm -hmm. it's a great yeah what i see um i kind of just share my opinion on the internet and people yeah. really seem like it mm -hmm. um and that's it's been history from there okay. pretty much tell us a bit about like how you got started and why you wanted to come onto youtube because it's really difficult putting yourself out there yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i started i was like a makeup you know like a regular makeup girl and then i did like like three or four makeup videos and i yeah. was like this is not fun yeah no, it's there's a lot of editing and a lot of like really it, it, I it's just not for me yeah. it's just not for me. but then I took like a break for a while and then what made me come back is yeah. I was talking to myself all the time I talked to myself a lot Same. I talking, like I just was having these conversations and I'm like maybe this should go somewhere maybe yeah. you should like I'm in with these conversations. I was like, okay, fine. Then I recorded my like first car video, and I was like, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm, yeah. And that just made me keep doing it. And like, I think like five people watched that video, and I was like, somebody watched it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I just kept, and I was like. That's my life now, yeah. I guess. It's a bit of a similar story for me. I remember when I, I started back in 2016, but I wasn't doing commentary. I was doing, like, fashion and beauty, but it just wasn't me. Like, it's something that I appreciate on the side, but it wasn't a passion of mine. So I started off with that, and then... Do you know my first ever hater was someone from my high school? <laughs> I'm being serious. I know who she is. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> Honestly... So yeah, when I, when I first started, um, yeah, I experimented with a bunch of content, but I felt like in 2017 was when I really got started with commentary. And it's been fun ever since because I didn't know this, but a lot of people like to hear opinions other than their own. But they also like to find people who they agree with, who's passionate. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how did you feel when you started blowing up or like growing rapidly? Um, I tried not to like uh what's the word i don't know because i used to be like really like afraid of like public speaking yeah, and like yeah. speaking to people so i tried to like not think about how many people were watching me yeah, until yeah. It got, i like couldn't deny it anymore i was mm -hmm. like that's a real number i kind of felt i was like i don't know why this is happening mm -hmm. i was like, this is very random i wasn't thinking this would ever happen in yeah. my life well people seem to like it i didn't know yeah. but i was I, like a like a disbelief like state of shock mm -hmm. i wasn't for a long 
long time until I hit like 100k and I was like oh wow yeah yeah I didn't realize this at all yeah. I didn't realize this it's crazy because I, I haven't been here since day one, but I feel like I've been here for a good amount of time. So when I saw my good sis growing, I was like, yes, out of anybody I watch, she deserves it. Because it's good to find somebody who is black, who is passionate about something, and who's like, just you're just checking every single box. That's how I feel. <laughs> Can you not take compliments? <laughs> no, I can't. I really have an issue with taking that one. It's like a part of my life. Dude, that's why I felt when I found you. I was like, wow. Someone who can just speak their mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just, just, you know, better everything. So yeah. I was like, when I was listening, I was like, this is the thing I've been waiting for. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so next question is, who were some of your favorites when you were growing up? Just like musicians, who are some people you're obsessed with? And have you ever met a celebrity? Um, I've never met a celebrity. Um, I've met, like, YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Like, I went to, I met, like, Kingsley, and I, like, Ooh. really freaked out. Okay. But, like, that's my, I think, my biggest celebrity, yeah. like, thing. So, artists I liked growing up, but obviously, Beyonce, of I would course. be Beyonce. Yeah. I'm nowhere without Beyonce. Yeah. So, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, Period. Nicki Minaj, Harry were, like, that was my middle school, besides One Direction. Yeah, like, yeah. It was Nicki Minaj and Katy Perry for mm -hmm. all, of one, all of, like, my middle school experience. Yeah. Hmm. I also got into Madonna, like, late, mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah. when I was eighth grade ninth grade but once i got into her took off from yeah exactly that's what, like growing up it was mostly like i had to discover my own music taste because my parents they listen to like music from like they listen to nigerian music all the time and same. i like that same but it worked, like <laughs> in order to like discover my own music identity i had to like discover it myself yeah so it took i saw beyonce first and i said wow mm. that's what i need in my life it yeah. was kind of different from there I feel, yeah, we're pretty much similar to, similar, to be honest, because me in, like, primary school, or whatever you call it, middle school, right? Um, and even high school, it was literally One Direction, non-stop. Yeah. But did you ever feel awkward being, like, the black girl in the fandom? Yeah. <laughs> I said, okay, yeah. Say, but you guys are kind of, like, mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. people were looking at this, I was like, oh, yeah. okay. But I'm going to still be here. Exactly. So. That's how I felt, too. But, like, that's, I mean, a part of me didn't go to concerts because of the fact that I felt like there was no one else who probably looked like me. So I kind of regret that now because I really missed out on a lot. Yeah, I mean, I didn't go to a concert either. And mm. I was, this, it sucks. Because yeah. now it's like, that's over. Okay, between me and you, whilst we're talking about One Direction, do you think <clears throat> they're coming back? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing that happening. I can't because see it. I can't see Harry coming back. I can't, I can't see Harry. I can't see Zayn coming back. I feel like cause... Liam will be like, yes, let's do it. <laughs> no, he would. He probably wants to right now. He's probably <laughs> working on that for the past year i'm not seeing all five of them at all and i'm not even seeing like four, four. yeah i would be floored i'd be floored if it happened yeah exactly I, i'm sorry guys i know people are watching like oh my god i want one direction to come they might come back though don't get me wrong but i personally just can't vision all four of them on stage i can't yeah i, I, I can't it, it'd be like the one of the biggest shocks of my life i really yeah. don't see that. yeah and knowing you you would have the most dramatic reaction <laughs> i would i would lose my mind if that were to act <laughs> Yeah. Tell us, like, tell us your star sign. People want to. I'm sure people want to know. Okay, so uh, this is. I'm a Gemini, Sun. I think this is the definition. Okay. Then I'm Virgo rising. Yeah. And Capricorn Moon. Okay. I don't know what that means, but yeah. that's what that means. That's my. I looked at my birth chart one day. I was like, wow. Really? This is kind of I haven't checked all... mine yet. I just know that I'm a Gemini, but I don't know like all the other stuff. Guys, down oh, below the comment section, tell us what it means. I would love to know because some people say that Gemini's are two phase. I mean, I, I don't. <laughs> no. I mean, not me. <laughs> I see where they might be coming from. I don't think that's necessarily always like a bad thing. So two phase has this negative connotation. Mm -hmm. It can also mean just like you have different, you know, parts of yourself. The new side of Too Faced, I don't do that. I'm curious to know, has a YouTuber ever reached out to you in regards to a video you made? It doesn't have to be about them, just like anyone well-known. Have they reached out to you, saying like, oh my God, I agree with you, or disagreeing with you? Hmm. I think, um, like people have been like, um, Twitter, like I like your videos. I don't know if it's been, I don't know if I've gotten one for like one specific video. Let mm -hmm. me think. No, I don't think I've gotten one for one specific video. Yeah. But 
gotten from YouTubers have been like, I like your videos, and I like freak out, and I'm like, really? wow. That's, like, do you not wow. see yourself? Do you not see yourself as like someone huge on the platform? Because you're too, no, I, it, you don't see it. Oh wow. No, not at all. Like at all. That's crazy. At, I'm just kind of like, ooh, I feel mm. like an imposter. With time, maybe I'll get there. But yeah. like right. That's crazy. I've got some more questions in regards to that later on, so just stay tuned okay. for that. What are some things people wouldn't know about you and about the filming process of like, you know, making a YouTube video, researching? What is it really like? I'm probably a very, like an outlier with this, the way I film. So I usually, I film, edit, and upload in one day. That's usually how I do every Whoa. video. Except for like this, this week is the only week where I did, I have like pre-filmed because okay. my laptop broke. It broke, so I have to <laughs> that right now because i'm still upset <laughs> whatever but i usually do film edit and upload in one day yeah. i make my videos i basically it all usually happens in the shower okay. i'm like in the shower and like this idea will come to me and then i'm like wow okay mm -hmm. let's flush this down and then i'll walk around my apartment like not when i'm not, when I'm not home yeah i'll just speak to myself and like flush the whole idea out then i sit down and i write like my little bullet points wow. and i'm like hey when do you actually want to film this yeah. sometimes it'll that day sometimes it'll be the next day most mm -hmm. of the time it's the videos i do the most research for i do research it depends on the video okay. if i don't know what i'm talking about i have to research it because i don't want to look stupid on the yeah internet. yeah ever but usually i like to film stuff that i know a lot about like just prior knowledge yeah, yeah. so research it i do it Mm, they, I do it a lot for those longer videos. I do a lot of research for those videos because I can't just just be out here talking. But yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I, I'm an outlier. I also do not edit. Everyone knows that. Don't Hold on, it. pause. Everybody I've spoken to, yeah, just my friends because I feel like they watch you. The one thing we always say, shout out to my friend um, Colin, by the way. He always says, I don't know how Amanda can sit down and do it in one take. That no, seriously, it's a talent. I tried to do it. I said no, mm -mm, mm -mm, not for me. Not for, Amanda. How do you do it? I say I'm a lot. I'm. I'm thinking. No. Okay, talent. so the reason how this started is I did my car videos first, and I yeah. didn't edit. I was like, well, you can't say anything. I kind of just. I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. But when I'm filming, I kind of don't remember what happened mm -hmm. for the past. I don't I'll, that's why I never know how long my videos are oh. until I go and put them there. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's an hour and a half long. I have yeah. no idea sitting there because my brain just, like, turns off. Wow, that's but, crazy. Yeah. I, so blackout is not the right word. Okay. But I kind of blackout when I film. Mm. I'm, I'm, like, in the moment, in the zone. Everybody watching right now needs to give her <laughs> her tens. I'm so sorry. Like, every time I watch a video, it shocks me because you do it so well, I have to admit, you do it so yeah. well. And even if you're trying to think of like fillers, mm -hmm. it just comes off so naturally and smoothly. And I feel like, again, I when I talk to my friends about it, that's the one thing we have to say when we compliment you. Okay, so you've mentioned in videos that you attend um, UCLA, right? And USC. And you the UCLA's our rival. What? Is it, tell the people what you're studying. Tell me what you're studying. Okay, so I'm studying health and human science. Is, okay. and i'm minoring in dance i'm pre-med like in the application process right now applying to med school so you know permanent state of stress in my brain currently and you were still posting <laughs> yeah nah amanda loves you guys too much that's what it is i don't know how that happened do people come up to you and what kind of things do they say to you and do you have people who try to like you know beg friend it and just force a friendship that's just not there <laughs> <sighs> i so like i've been in quarantine like the quarantine stuff started like when my channel kind of was like at the most exponential so i've only had one person go up to me and be like hey do you have a youtube channel that was in december yeah and i was like, yeah i do and she was like okay and i was like okay <laughs> what she was like thank you for being honest and then she walked away i digress that was the only time that it's happened right so i think because of the whole like pandemic thing mm. now i don't know exactly how i would react if someone were to recognize me i think i'd probably like like i, I feel it i feel it that like, movement it would be fine yeah you, know, you have to present yourself nice but mm. i would inside be like oh my god but people forcing friendship no i've had the same friends since freshman year of college for me i remember yeah. i was going to the studio i was with my friend and they came out and i wasn't looking where i was going because i was talking to my friend and then i bumped into someone <laughs> and then 
she said, oh, hi, Keisha. I was like, oh, God. This is, like, maybe my third... I just can't handle these kind of things. Like, I'm good in my room when I'm filming. Yeah, so then she bumped... Like, she bumped into me, she made eye contact with me. She was probably like, I don't know, 11 years old or something. She's like, oh my God, I'm from Brazil. I love your videos, I'm just visiting London. I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. She asked for a picture, I was like, me? You're asking me for a picture? Me? Okay. I don't know how to deal with these things, but thank God I was with a friend, otherwise I genuinely would have froze. Have you dealt with anxiety before? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not diagnosed, but like, right. I would guess I like anxiety. I don't know. I. My, the things that I do to take care of my nerves, I play The Sims. Okay. Oh, oh, we know. Oh, oh, we know. <laughs> or I'll do my makeup. Okay. Like that's, it was kind of, I don't, I've been doing that since like high school, actually, yeah. playing with my makeup. Mm. But like if I'm outside and I'm like really, I'm really, really nervous. Mm. I don't know. I kind of like try to retreat back into myself. Mm -hmm. So like headphones in and no talking to yeah. anyone. Now with this mask on, it's even easier. Oh my wow. god, so, someone is saying it, finally! You can only see this much! <laughs> no one can see anything, I said, thank you. Like, oh my this god. But nobody can see yeah. anything. Prior to YouTube, didn't have anxiety, I know that for sure. But now it's just like, I feel like I have to be on 10 every single time. Well, I'm not talking about when I'm going out, like... You never know who you're gonna meet. Obviously, present yourself the best you can, but I don't know. I just feel like the anxiety has de definitely built up a lot since I've gained a following that's bigger than fifty k for me. Because I don't know who's you never. You never know. You never know who's watching you. So I don't know how I'm dealing with that. Honestly, I haven't been dealing with it, and I hope in the new year I can just like I don't know seek counselling because I feel like a lot of Black people as well don't seek advice from other people. Sometimes we kind of just soak it in. <laughs> I probably should do that too. The mm. new year, we'll see what happens. Yeah. What are the pros and cons of having a commentary channel? I can think of some cons. I get to share my opinion with a bunch of people. Another pro, um, people seem to like what I have to say. I kind of have like an outlet to talk about stuff, because otherwise I'd just be saying those things to myself and my right. friends. So it's kind of like an outlet to get. And I also like to like hear what other people's opinions on stuff are. Mm -hmm. stuff is. So I look in like comments like sometimes, and I'll like look at what people are saying. Let's think of the cons so i wonder what they could be there's a lot of like hate watchers you can't yes. pick those there's no way to pick those out like you can't say everything you mm -hmm. want to say like everything you want to say i'm mm -hmm. not a lie lie yeah but sometimes you won't, something, you won't say something Definitely, like to a yeah. degree mm -hmm. because i'm like i don't feel like getting grasped over this when you share your opinion with a lot of people a lot of people disagree with you it's music yeah exactly <laughs> album like <laughs> really make it this serious yeah <clears throat> other con, mm, yeah. another con could be like sometimes people expect you to speak about every single thing yes. and i'm like i don't have time mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> go, <laughs> go and do your research like there's not enough time in yeah. the world for every single thing it's even true. if i want to like sometimes you gotta let let things go i think a con for me is like when crazy fandoms who i shall not name because i don't feel that <laughs> brave today oh my god i, I was speaking about makeup line right and i was saying in my humble opinion i feel like it just wasn't a pro it wasn't it wasn't necessary that's how i felt and now like i look at it differently i think she's doing her thing anyways regardless i said that i prefer her as like an actress i don't mind her music i think that she she makes okay music but i, I wouldn't go to a concert that's how i see it and if someone edited my video for me and put things yes, together they do that the time it's i'm like because I did the same thing with her. Okay, so listen. I made a yeah. video in February talking mm -hmm. about her beauty line. I got my information from the trailer. Yeah. You're supposed to information. I made that video. Whatever. February. It comes back and um, so I'm like, someone edited the clips. To, and I watched because I, I watched it on Twitter. And I'm like, I did not say all of those things one after another. <laughs> that, like, you look like a, you look like a vindictive, jealous person. Yeah. What is and then I went back and I watched my video and I'm like, I knew I didn't say that. It cut out the parts of me complimenting her. <laughs> it's like, I don't hate her. Yeah, it yeah. Cut out, like, I wish her the best in her makeup brand. And I said, well, oh, well. And now, because people can, you know, change their minds. Mm -hmm. I own her stuff and it's good. People don't oh. allow other people to change their opinions. I interviewed mm -hmm. someone the other day and we said the exact same thing. Like, we as humans grow. Let us be. They think just because we do commentary...
Like, I don't know, people think that we have this this bad vendetta when we come on here on camera, no. Yeah. Like, sometimes I have nice things to say, but nobody cares about that. It's mainly the drama. Yeah. What is your family dynamic like? What do your family, I, like, think of you being I, a YouTuber, especially having African parents? I live with my, uh, my mom and my dad, and I have a little brother. He's a so, like, little relative at okay. this point. Uh, he's a senior. He's mm -hmm. going to Washington University, just got in, like, three days ago. Pause. Uh, so how do you say that so calmly? Nah, you see you, see you yeah. <laughs> Repeat what you just said. What what university? George Washington University. That's my. He's. I don't know what he's gonna study. I think he's undecided. It doesn't like, matter what he studies. <laughs> and was born in New York. Lived in Oklahoma for like five years, and then okay. moved back to. So I'm from New York. Oklahoma was a um, phase period of time. I don't look like to talk. About, nothing bad. Happened okay. Cool. Cool. As good as like what New York is like, if that makes yeah. sense. But my parents, um, they didn't know I had a YouTube channel until one day. I guess they searched my name often and they found it. And they were like, "What's this?" And I'm like, "Oh." So my plan was to keep it a secret, right? For like as long as that's my plan. Actually, this whole time was to keep it as secret as much as possible. Yeah. And then people that I actually know were like, "You have a YouTube channel," and I was like, "Oh damn." <laughs> it can't be a secret it. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're like the reaction was much better than I thought it was going to be. Right. Um, they were actually like excited. They're okay. like, "Wow, yeah, people, know who you are." I said, "I thought you'd be upset, yeah. but they weren't. They, they were really, really happy about it. And they don't. They talk about it often. They're like, hmm, make sure you don't say anything crazy because you know, like you're applying to med school.' Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I, I get, I get it. I yeah. get what you're trying. They've been very supportive. Like, even you take the stereotypes of African parents, and it, it didn't happen. That's and good. I, Same. Lord. Mm -hmm. I was like So if if they didn't approve of it, would you have not continued realistically? Real cause it depends on okay. If they'd been like um, I would have been like why? Mm -hmm. Also I started it when I, I was like eighteen plus, so like the whole even though like my parents obviously I would have been like, they don't really have to stop if I want to. Yeah, I also yeah. It, there's other things that I've been told to stop doing mm -hmm. by them and stop doing and they end up coming around to it so I was like okay fine that's mm -hmm. what I would have done yeah. if they had been, this isn't working out for us but yeah. I don't say nothing embarrassing about my family on the internet yeah so exactly just keep that part out yeah and like my YouTube isn't about like my life like it isn't about my life as much as like other people's are so mm -hmm. I guess I'm, my life is still private yeah exactly and, my persona is public and that's what i think makes them like very okay with it who were some of like your favorite youtubers to binge watch and why like give me two or three and don't mention me <laughs> don't mention me okay so my favorites hmm, the wrong side of my channel actually so first youtuber that i ever binge actually was it's told by kenya she was the first okay one cool taste i was like because this is excellent yeah like content binges all the way through then the second one the second person that i binged actually mm -hmm. after you was smoke was smoky glow hannah her channel let's talk a bit about dating because you oh. listen I, I need to know what is your type to the t okay so i don't have okay so I, I was gonna say i don't have one yeah but <sighs> we we hear a breath what's to come are you just thinking I'm thinking that I'm getting annoyed as I think. <laughs> Why? Why? It's more of like a, it's a, it's not a specific type. I just don't really like stupid um, okay. people. Okay, yeah, for then sure. Then you meet men and there a lot yeah. of them are not very smart. So mm -hmm. that like, so is that a type or is that just me like? No, it's, not, it's just, nobody does. Like, nobody it's, does. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I could describe my type. Yeah, to a yeah. I've never, like dated before. Mm -hmm. My whole like dating experience is like non-existent at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I went to like I've been going to Catholic schools most of my whole life. Right, right. So like middle school, I, the first middle school I went to in Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> that was an experience. Then I went moved to New York, and I went to an all girls Catholic school. Yeah. And don't I'm not my family. We're not really into like the the PTA like mm -hmm, the mom. Yeah. I don't know people from like this town where I live. Yeah, I don't know. My, yeah. I don't. I don't know any of them. So there would be no way of me like meeting anybody to date. Right. And then college happened, and I thought we were gonna like change everything for college. I thought mm -hmm. I was gonna do a rebrand 
all right, Amanda. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. I became the same person, but now I'm like a senior. My rebrand actually happened last year. That mm-hmm. was an actual rebrand, not whatever fake shit I was doing before, whatever. But now it's more of just like I like what I like, and I don't like. I don't like what I don't like. I know what I don't like. I don't like stupidity. I don't like bigotry. Do you think about these things, or is just something that you just kind of brush to the side, like? Do you think about um, who am I gonna end up with? For me personally, I didn't really like consider myself like a sexual being yeah yeah for, like, <clears throat> my life i kind of like suppressed all of that mm-hmm. for as long as possible mm-hmm. not because i was like afraid of it just because i thought i had like to accomplish other things first I got to college and i thought it was going to change then i was like wait being pre-med is really fucking hard it's really really difficult so i was like hey never mind keep suppressing it for like three more years now it's now and now it's coronavirus time mm-hmm. so i don't really like no my answer is i don't know to a lot of dating questions but i don't yeah, know i've never yeah. tried or like done anything like beyond mm-hmm. anything i don't care i'm not getting coronavirus for nobody just kind of really suppress everything about like that side yeah for like years and years and years and years and now we're here now and we're in a pandemic do you so. think it will be difficult dating though as someone who whether you, i don't know how long you plan to like continue doing youtube for but like do you think it will be a difficulty because i do think it will be trust yeah. issues oh brother that i don't i didn't even think of that until just now i i've been i've been dealing with that for like this year oh it's just God. like mm, it's I, very like but I feel like you can tell. You can tell by, like, what they say. So if someone says, like, oh, my God, you have so much followers. I mean, I know some people can just be, like, shocked. But it's, it's the fact that someone said it to me after I, like, after we said, hey, it's just really weird. It's just, like... <laughs> that's, um, red, exactly. red, no, that's bizarre. <laughs> See, that's, like, I can't deal with that. Yeah. That would just fuck you. Dead. Like, just, you're done. Mm-hmm. That, I have, ooh, I also no patience maybe that's what this isn't happening i feel like well anybody who gets in a relationship they need to like work on them before doing anything whether i think in my mind i'm busy or not i'm busy also like i'm low-key high-key a homebody but i like to go out if there's a really emotive so i don't know if i'm ready to just like give certain things up just i'm not I, I, yeah i don't i'm not i don't think i am nah like, I, I give it maybe one more year maybe just one more year and we'll see there's no rush and to anybody watching right now there's actually no rush like just no. do you work on you first that's all that matters you once you finish high school you see the world for what it truly is and it's just it's immaturity all the extra stuff it's not all that who's like your celebrity crush i'm curious because when if you follow amanda on twitter then it's like she's talking about someone new but i'm trying to see like who is it first drill jerome if i i'm not okay i won't say anything else <laughs> tweet about wait who's your bias by the way damn dude really mine was namjoon immediately as soon as i set my eyes <laughs> so i call so i say he's namjoon's my bias record but that's it's like every single day at this point so i'm not much of wrecking you can do if it's i'm every- so proud of you the fact that you know these terms guys <laughs> about i can't think of the image right now he's, from, he's on victorious beck oh beck wow i haven't seen him in, t- in a very long time he's on tiktok <laughs> oh, he's, <laughs> <laughs> and he's exploiting the way he looks on tiktok you need to follow him on tiktok wow yeah. wow okay I, okay those are mine wow <laughs> we love the range <laughs> <laughs> i feel like for me <laughs> For me, hmm, I'm not gonna say that one on camera. <laughs> he said, "Never mind, never mind." I feel like if you know me, I though, then you know who it is. But yeah, besides no. that, I would say, ooh, there's, it's the, hard. There's, yeah, it is hard. It is hard. Maybe I shouldn't have asked that because I can't think of it myself. Okay, if I remember, guys, I'll put it somewhere in the description or something. But I can't think of it now. I need time to think about who, who are the men. I have a question in mind. This wasn't written down at all, but it's here, so I might as well just ask you: Do you have any like guilty pleasures or anything 
Like, what's a turn on for you? I'm curious. Turn on, like, physically? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was about, when you said it's inappropriate, I was about to say just say it. I guess next. That's not. Is that it, girl? It's, I'm not saying that one. <laughs> <laughs> when I see attractive, I know it's attractive. Okay, is it like an? Is, for me, it's different things. But recently, you're gonna find me really weird. <laughs> but it's like an item of clothing. Let me let me say it, guys, before you start jumping at me. But basically, it's hats. But like it's when it's turned back to front. There's something. There's something about okay. hat. Okay. I feel like it can make it can make someone go from a seven to ten in my eye just with a hat. What is that called? The hat baseball cap effect? No. That's mm. why you just have to take it off. Yeah. Because no trick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're actually too I'm funny, Amanda. Imagine. Oh, a baseball cap. Now I have to look hot. And the hairline. Oh, don't um, do not no, do not talk about hairlines. I feel like a lot of people get away with a lot, but that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so my next question for you, Amanda, is um who is a YouTuber you strongly dislike? And I mean dislike to the point where if I see you, go. Mm. <laughs> the, 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 the girl the girl the what's what were they named? <laughs> the racist coalition. I would fight any and all of them. Yeah. So like and Dawson has a very punchable face. That's just my personal thing. <laughs> he um, looks like the type of person your parents tell you to stay away from. <laughs> and he was on this platform for years. <laughs> then, like, long chin, ass, Jeffree <laughs> stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to say, I, don't, I would never, uh, uh, yeah. very just, like him as well. Who <laughs> also I just not like? I knew you were going to say that. I've got like four more questions a bit about you and we're wrapping it up from here. But I want to know because 2020 has been a chaotic year to say the least. So what are some things that you've learned? Give me two strong things that you're going to take with you forever. One, worrying about little things gets you nowhere. So that's one. And then two, I guess it would be, oh, what, what I learned from like my YouTube growing like this. Well, if you don't try... You never know what will happen. Get out of your head and just do things because you never know what will actually happen. And I, you hear that advice all the time, but you don't actually take it. So what are some future goals you have for you and what can we expect in the new year? Okay, I, the one I think, I guess, would be, I don't really, um, I kind of, I'm a very go with the flow kind of person. I don't mm -hmm. really ever have set goals for myself. My one most important is to get into medical school. Yeah. That's my and then secondly maybe i want to i don't know because the whole thing about talking about like you can't like not necessarily speak your mind because i definitely do still speak my mind i don't care like yeah. people, the internet turns off once you turn off your phone mm -hmm. but like you can't like say everything with a full like gusto you always exactly. maybe like i could like so like a patreon or something but that that's if like Ooh. i have like time mm -hmm. for it as well be with like what happens in the new year another goal i guess is just self-confidence mm -hmm. something i've been working on since like realizing i wasn't that confident in myself again we're talking about this before i can't take compliments i'm yeah. really trying really just really trying i'm trying to put that work in yeah so i get you know their goal is like being able to take compliments mm -hmm. and being able to compliment myself because yeah. that has been for like my life so. that's cool okay so before we like wrap it up is there anything you want to ask me I'm an open book. Hmm. What else do I have? So, like, you were talking about what happened to you in this year with the, with, with, with the, with the dating. A lot of it was online. I, I really wish it was different, though, because I think I've, I've realized now that I would value, uh, like, a real, like, face-to-face -face kind of moment instead. It would just mm -hmm. hit differently. But online, I just think there's a lot of creepers and there's a lot of people who use your skin as, like, a fetish, and it's disgusting. Referring to me as chocolate, like, it might have been cute when I was 16, but... Nah, there was a situation and um, it's just, a lot of things are just not cutting it for me anymore. I don't know if I'm a hard or difficult person, but I, I know what I want. And it's like, when I don't get that, I might have to wait another 10 years at this point. There was one, I mean, I've been talking to a couple of people. I feel like that might surprise people I know, but I think it's kind of, it's been good for me because I get to see like what, you know, 
sits right with me what doesn't but there was one particular thing where somebody constantly kept bringing up like my instagram followers at the time when i had my flipping account Hard we're still gonna oh by the way with that whole thing um i'll tell you privately anyways but yeah so they kept bringing up the followers and it's just like can't we move past that i feel like <laughs> can't we i don't know i I don't know because I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to like settle for a flipping influencer or someone who's already well known. Because if I don't want that, I don't want that. I don't think I really do. I want someone low key. But yeah, I've just had too many negative things that's happened. But there's been some funny experiences too, and some people I still talk to to this day. Yeah. So like, there's positives out of it. Yeah, but there's a lot of there's a lot of negatives. There's people who are gonna pretend they're good looking on a flipping app, and then when you check out their Instagram, it's like, hmm, I I know why you're on private. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> I suddenly get it. <laughs> it's the line for me. This was so fun. No, I'm like excited. I'm glad you could do this. And come in like nerve and I was like, we're talking to a friend. And yep. it was like it was so nice. That's the goal, honestly. People make me people make me nervous. Whatever. Aww. No, it's honestly fine. Like I'm I'm I like to see myself as super chill and this whole series was to have comfortable conversations. Don't let people feel too tense, so. Yes. Everyone's too tense. We need to relax. Exactly. Well, thank like you so much again for coming, Amanda. I appreciate it. And um, I'll leave all her social medias down below in the description. Make sure you guys go and get her YouTube channel. And yes, I will chat to you very soon. Thank you. Bye, sis. Stay safe. Bye -bye. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. Oh, that was cool.